I'm trying to figure out this new room. Whoa, I'm like too far up. What do you think? I'm trying to fix my lighting, background, all the things. Oh, uh, today is Sunday and this begins the vlog for the past couple weeks, guys. So kind of give you a recap. We've been moving the past couple, my hair is a hot mess. You know, it's kind of one of those days where you just like throw it back, you're like, I've got lint in it, oh my gosh. It's one of those days, the lighting in here, okay, so this is my filming room in my new home. The lighting in here has not been good. Like, it's been fine, I think, for videos and everything, but for me to actually see myself doing my makeup, it's been really bad. <laughs> Cause I'll like go downstairs sometimes and I'll be like, I have my mirror right here, I have you guys right here. I am gonna start getting ready and kind of tell you about the last three weeks or so, and then um, we'll get into the vlog. I have snippets of us moving, things that have been going on, new products. Oh, it has been a whirlwind, so it's, the vlog is a little kind of all over the place, but you know what? It's a vlog, that's kind of how they are. It's kind of snippets of my life. Um, it's been a little nuts. There's been people in and out of my house the past couple days. I'm using a new clay to poe. Just an FYI, can you see that okay? Okay, I'm just testing out this new lighting. So this is the new Clay de Poe, so pretty. I love the finish, but I just use it on my hands and then uh, put it on my face. Um, yeah, we've had people in and our house to finish the tile in my downstairs half bath. We had that completely redone. How pretty this is. They measured, you know, we had our cabinets done, or we, our cabinets repainted. Then we had new backsplash, which is phenomenal. That turned out amazing. Like, I love the look of that. The countertops look really great. My husband said the best thing that we did was pick the sink that we did. It's called a Blanco sink. And Lexi Jean helped me pick that out. Lexi and I are like the best of friends now. <laughs> so funny like even without ATLB I think we would like be like kind of like best so anyways on. that is that is a great great sink it's a matte black sink and it is phenomenal. I'm gonna go in with the giraffe palette by Chantecat so I've been really enjoying that oh gosh before that though we need some I need some um I did get the new Mac paint pot. It's not new. It's like paint pot from, it's called Fairly. It's an oldie but goodie. And one of you guys in one of my videos recently said, Jen, you should like, you should try that paint pot. And I'm like, oh, how do you try that again? It's been a while. So I bought one. And it's over there. I recently cleaned and uh, feeling, I'm feeling good about that. I'm like one of those people that cannot work in a very like messy environment. Like it has to be clean. Like I was one of those people who had to clean their house before they studied. I think they call that procrastination, but for me, that's called, <laughs> that's called being able to study in a clean space. <laughs> I think it's procrastination. I'm loving this Gen C Beauty like eyebrow. It's called, what are they calling this? It's made in Italy, it's six months shelf life. Let's see can't see I forget what it's called but they sent these they sent some of their products over Gen C Beauty did this is in taupe I just totally screwed that up and I'm loving this it's like a two-in-one <laughs> a twofer here and really like the way that it fills in the brows yet it provides some a little bit of hold that taupe is like my shade though for sure Sometimes I think I have more brow hair than I do and I'll like, <laughs> I'll like go above my brow with it and I'll, I don't know. Um, what else happened? Um, we had new countertops installed, which was awesome. They mismeasured our island. So we're, that's the last thing guys, the last thing we are having done is our island. So I'm excited that that comes actually tomorrow. So we also sold our old house which is a blessing oh such a blessing guys we've made new friends in the neighborhood which is awesome um we're closer to my husband's parents that um is a blessing and then what else i mean honestly 
overall, everything went pretty well. I mean, considering we had the whole house painted, just very grateful that everything went smoothly. It's just the prettiest, isn't it? Oh my gosh, so pretty. And I ordered some swimsuits. I asked you guys like what kind of swimsuit brand you would like to see. And you guys said Albion Fit. And I'm like, Albion Fit, where have I heard of those people? Like those people, that brand. And um, I looked them up and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, so I ordered a couple swimsuits. We're gonna try them on. Y'all be nice. <laughs> Y'all are always nice. But um, I am gonna try them on for you guys and we'll see how they fit. I started the Whole30 about two weeks ago. I didn't talk a lot about that in here. If you want me to talk more about that in the next vlog, I can. I didn't really start, I really didn't, I didn't talk about it that much because I was worried I wouldn't continue it. <laughs> I was worried it's gonna be like the whole two or something. Like it was gonna be hard. So, and it is hard. I mean, I'm not saying it's not easy, but definitely I'm on day 14. A lot easier, guys, than it was before. I'm just saying. First week was rough, rough, rough. So, eyes are done. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish getting ready and then. Let's get into the vlog. Enjoy. All right, guys. I want to show you the new house. So I'm playing around with these rugs. Okay, so I got these from Lowe's, actually. And I have another one. I have actually got a ton of them in here. So I'm going to bring you in our room. This is from Lowe's, too. And guys, there's stuff everywhere. We have not unpacked everything. <laughs> Skipper's still trying to figure out like where he is. He's like, what is going on? But look how pretty this is from Lowe's. Now it's this, I think it's called Allen Roth. Allen and Roth. Yeah, if I can find it, I'll try to get it um, and link it. But they are soft and really nice. Just nice rugs. So, yeah, I'm trying to figure out my beauty room today, and this is what the house looks like. We have laundry in the middle of the floor. <laughs> Y'all, this is real life, but look how much better. Oh, remember this here? This was right here. That was a big open area. Like, inside of it it's where the tv came out we went ahead and covered it up and we're gonna hang a tv tomorrow there i'm testing out these knobs here to see if i like them there and i think i do aren't they pretty so we have furniture coming to fill this space today and it's on its way i'm excited it's gonna be I don't have a rug yet, but I'm hopeful that the furniture will look really nice in here. So I'm loving my stair case too. The banister, oh, love it. So let's take a look around in here. There's Skipper again. <laughs> and this is my foyer light. So there was a small light in here and this is such a large foyer that I really wanted something to go, you know, to fill the space. I almost feel like this is um, just perfect for it, <laughs> honestly. I'm really pleased with how it turned out and I can show you the lights as well. Let me turn the lights on. Well, there's so many light switches just lights up the foyer so pretty and then he the electrician centered it so that when you come up the drive you you can see it through that window so that's why it is centered like that yeah this is like the only functional place in our home right now <laughs> this um this is the table that was in our home before Literally, we've still got stuff everywhere. So this is the light that I picked out. Both of these lights, guys, are from Wayfair. I'm so pleased with that. 
in how they turn out and what they look like. And I like that, this, that there's a little variety. You know, you kind of have more of a, you know, wagon wheel farmhouse feel. And then you kind of get a little bit more formal in here. I mean, but you still bring it in with the kind of farmhouse table and stuff. Um, yeah, my, so my style in the other home was very beachy and everything like that. And I kind of have to mix that with this, with this particular home because it is so traditional with the column. Let's see. Oh my goodness. So this is a part of the home that's not finished, but we went ahead and moved in. So this here is a half bath. The tile needs redone here. So we're going to be redoing the tile and tomorrow and then we still have to put a countertop in the sink and all that in but very pleased with how this turned out we decided to put beadboard around this just to give it some character and then also because it's such a large half bath i felt and then um i used the color cheryl and williams sea sea salt i think that's it i have to double check but yeah it's really really beautiful i love that and then this is the kitchen. This is a light from Wayfair. I haven't pulled the plastic off yet just because they're still doing touch-ups and stuff because they have not even put the countertops in here. But we get those Tuesday, so I'm really excited. And Thursday comes all the appliances, so hopefully I can share those with you as it comes along but i'm really really loving the white cabinets now remember these were like cherry <laughs> cherry cabinets and um we painted them because the cabinets were beautiful but just was really dark in here honestly and then this right here this space you can see the light fixture. We're getting the table delivered with the couches that we purchased today as well. Guys, this is my favorite place in the house. It's the pantry. So we had this pantry. It was, these are all new shelving, like custom shelving that was done. And we are so excited. I mean, look at all of this woodwork and it allows us to be able to have storage because honestly, it was just one big room, had some wire shelving prior, but I saw this, like, I saw this on Instagram. This girl had these kind of shelves in here and he put like a lip on this that allows for cans. So if they fall or something, they won't roll off or whatnot. And it's very, very sturdy. So it's, it's going to be able to hold some weight. And then the other thing that we had built was a counter. And I'm going to get some plexiglass, I think, to put on here just to protect the wood underneath. It's wood. It's all wood. It's, there's no stone or anything. The owner prior had the microwave over the stove, like, most people and we are putting a vent there so we put a microwave in here i'm going to put our coffee maker and everything like that in here as well thought that would be nice to have just for the fact that you know you you can have it in here not on your kitchen counter or whatnot which would be kind of cool so they just finished this last week i'm waiting to put all the food and everything on the cabinets just because the paint is fresh <laughs> more fresh and um, they said just wait a couple days so I think today I'll be able to start putting this stuff away and everything I'm pumped about this the microwave used to be right here on top and so we are putting a hood there and we are putting a induction stove here so an induction stove is a bit different than electric as well as gas. We don't have gas here. There was an electric <coughs> stove. There was electric stove here before and we didn't want to have to, 
we're doing bits and pieces to try to update the home and we didn't i mean we've done a lot don't get me wrong we've done a lot here right now but we didn't do bathrooms we didn't do this you know that so we wanted to uh use induction we thought that'd be a lot safer for our kids as they learn to cook and then gas guys i love gas stoves but they are a they are hard to clean in those grates and everything and i don't know i was just kind of like you know what let's do something different and then i got a brand new sink that's not hooked up yet but i'm excited about this new sink by blanco and excited to use this it's supposed to be an amazing sink and all right well that's a little 10 cent tour of the kitchen the house we'll see you later say bye bye okay guys i am in this is going to be my filming room i think so this was originally going to be peter's office but he's taken an office downstairs so i get because he wanted to be like away <laughs> which i don't blame him but i get all of these cabinets eventually i might paint them but for right now it's a good use of space, right? It's good storage and everything. And then I'm going to put my desk here. Hopefully I'll be able to film in front of that. Um, yeah, but I don't know what to do for a background. So what am I going to do guys? What am I going to do? Maybe here. Not quite sure. Cause if I have a camera facing like here, maybe I could have the camera facing here. So it's not as like, Hmm, I gotta figure this out. I have some lights and things, but no, oh, I got so much to do. So much to do, y'all wanna help me?